And many Metro Detroiters are watching the chaos in Afghanistan, fearing for loved ones who are still in the country. Victor Williams picks up that part of our coverage. He's live at the Islamic Center of America in Dearborn. Victor. Yes, Steve, it certainly seems like the entire world is watching as the Taliban takes over Afghanistan. But for some Metro Detroiters right here, it really, really hits home, close to home. I think a human disaster is happening in front of our eyes. Former Afghanistan journalist, now Ph.D. student at Wayne State, Fariba Paju, is having the worst time witnessing trouble and uncertainty unfold in Afghanistan. It is unbelievable that the world closed its eyes. Her same pain is shared by Imam Ibrahim Kazaruni of the Islamic Center of America in Dearborn, who says the Taliban, in a way, is trying to fool the world with a different image. Taliban is a deja vu all over again. It's nothing new, despite uh, Taliban's leadership, these, this time are trying to present themselves as more moderate. Nowadays, they have, they are trying to have some like kind of uh, interviews with, with uh, like, um, like media and, and they are trying to clean up their way, but the reality is not that. With a large community of Afghan Americans here in Detroit, some are worried about seeing their loved ones once again. The fear for them is what will happen to my grandfather who's still there or my uncle who's still there. I have a lot of friends and they have loved ones, they have families and, and their families are living in Afghanistan and they are very worried about their future and they don't know what will happen for them. And although the future is uncertain, one thing these two can agree on is that the U.S. may be the ones to blame. United States has left with huge amount of weapon, literally without control, spread all over the place, and they have taken over. I think the United States are responsible about the situation. You cannot, you cannot close your eyes and say that uh, this is what it is. And another fear that Imam Kazaruni has is that the reach of the Taliban is going to span far beyond Afghanistan. Just a horrible story there. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, thank you, Victor.